Hello friends, hope all you are fine and doing well. Welcome to our channel SRSPAC. In today's video, we will understand how to give the size of RefNet joints or you can say Daikin VRV RefNet sizing. When we make the layout of the VRV, we will understand how we give the size for RefNet. Okay, how do we know what will be the size of the pipe and what will be the size of Daikin VRV RefNets. Okay, RefNet joints or you can say branch kit. Okay, or wire joint you can also say. We will understand what are the things to be considered by giving the size of the pipe as well as Daikin RefNet. Today we will see in detail so we have taken up a small project so that you can understand properly. So friend those who have not subscribed our channel please subscribe so that you never miss an industrial inside tips and tutorials. So friend let's start Daikin VRV RefNet sizing. As you can see we have taken a small project. This is a small project for a commercial building. Okay, there are around 11 unit we have placed. Okay, this is a 40R, this is 6 unit, then again 140R. Okay, this is a 1.3 of 2TR. Okay, 1.3 of 2 unit. Okay, and this is 3.3 and this is 2TR. Okay, so total 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There are 11 unit and which is connected with the help of outdoor 20 hp we have given a 20 hp the diversity is 106 okay you will see also the schematic layout okay first we will start as we have earlier done friends we have done the pipe sizing in the earlier video we will revise that one also okay as the daikin has given this chart for indoor outdoor okay outdoor indoor and we will see the today rep net joint below 200 it will be 22 okay from 200 and to 290 it will be 33 okay from 290 to 640 it will be 72 t okay after 640 ci value it will be 73 there are four types of y joint available okay with the daikin okay if you have two units then we will connect with this outdoor unit kit p100 if you have three units then it will be p151 okay this is the y, y joint we are focusing this one today okay these are the pipe size that we have to connect from the ref net to ref net okay this will be the from indoor unit to the ref net okay and this is the outdoor unit okay so first we will start from the last outdoor unit okay as you see this is the 4tr okay so ci value will be 125 and we will see in the chart for 125 you can see 15.9 and 9.5 so we are going to put 15.9 and 9.5 as i have already put it you can see this is i have put it these are all 4 tr unit so we are now going to size the refnet or taking refnet sizing so i am going to copy this one t i am going to put here So the value will be 125 plus 125 it will be 250 so I am going to put here 250 and the T will be 33 so we are going to check here also see from 200 to 290 it will be 33 T so I am going to put here 33 the capacity index will be 250 okay friends hope you have understand up to this one so friend the next step in daikin vrv refnet sizing will be our the piping after 250 capacity index we will check in the chart okay that the daikin has provided from 200 to 290 it will be 22.2 and 9.5 so i am going to put here 22.2 and 9.5 okay this is liquid and this is gas okay so there again we this is 40r so i have given 10.9 and 9.5 so the t i have i have to put the refinite joint okay so i'm going to copy here and i am going to put it here so what will be the size it will be 375 okay 250 plus 125 will be 375 okay friends now we have to put the refinite joint size for 375 
we again go back and see what will be 290 to 640 what will be there it will be 72 you can see it is 72 you take this is 72 from 290 to 640 it will be 72 so i am going to put here 72 t okay friends hope oh, you are cleared up to this one okay for 375 capacity index what will be the size for it you will see in the diking chart okay from 4 292 420 it will be 28.6 and 12.7 it will be 118 and half okay so i have put it here 28.6 and 12.7 so one more cassette is connected so i am going to copy this one and going to put here okay so it will be if we add to 125 it will be 500 okay friends and we will see in the chart what will be the size to 292 640 it will be 72 t only the diking refnet will be 72 it's okay i hope uh, up to this one you are cleared next we have to do in the vrv refnet joint after we have done this one 72 500 ci okay we have to do the pipe sizing the copper pipe sizing for vrv okay so we will see in the chart what will be the value after 500 so i am going to see what is the value for 500 okay so 422 640 it will be 28.6 and 15.9 so friend i have put it here 28.6 and 15.9 okay so we are going to add this one also it will be also 125 ci okay so i'm going to copy this one and i'm going to put here so what will be the capacity index it will be 625 625 and the refnet joint will be up to 640 it will be 72 so 640 so it will be 72 the refnet joint will be 72 only okay so we are going to see the copper piping size also you can see 420 640 it will be 28.6 and 15.9 so i am going to put here 28.6 and 15.9 okay the last machine in this room will be also 40r okay as we can see 6 of 40r each so I am going to add the CI of 125 so around it will be 750 okay friends and the CI value will be we see here to 640 up to 730 now above it will be 640 it will be 73 you can see here it will be above 640 it will be 73 so i am going to put here the refnet joint for vrv is 73 t okay because the capacity have index has been increased to 750 okay i hope it is clear up to this one so friend we have to add the next machine which is in this room okay it is also 4 tr okay so I have given the size already 15.9 and 9.5 so I will give the refnet size for this one ok enter so 750 plus 125 it will be 875 ok 875 see the capacity index is 875 okay above 640 all will be 73 t the daikin vrv refnet sizing will be 73 t okay now we will see the pipe sizing 875 we will see the 875 from here 640 to 920 it will be 34.9 and 19.1 okay i have put it here 34.9 and 19.1 the copper sizing will be 34.9 and 19.1 okay friends 
now we do the sizing for this one the daikin brv pipe sizing for this machine will be 1.3 so we will see the size for 1.3 see 1.3 it will be 40 capacity index it will be 12.7 and 6.4 half and quarter okay so we will i have already put it 12.7 and 6.4 i put it here also the copper sizing for this pipe is will be half and quarter both the and the capacity index will be 80 so i am going to copy this one and i am going to put here okay the capacity index will be only 80 and the y joint will be below 200 it will be 22 only so i am going to put here 22 hope you understand this one friends daikin vrv refnet sizing okay and the copper sizing will be 80 ci value so for the copper sizing below 150 it will be 15.9 and 9.5 okay so i am going to put here i have already put it 15.9 and 9.5 okay friends so we i am going to copy this one we have to do the refnet sizing for this one enter okay so i am going to add 80 plus 875 875 plus 80 it will be 955 okay so i am going to put here 955 and the refnet size will be about 640 it will be 73 okay so i am going to put the 73 y joint you can say or refnet taking vrv refnet so it will be 955 so we are going to see the sizing about 920 it will be 41.3 and 19.1 so 920 so it is above 920 so i have put it 41.3 and 19.1 copper pipe sizing okay so one more y joint is here and it is connected with the help of this reference okay and the sizing is 2 tr okay for 2 tr we are going to see for 2 tr it will be 63 as the as you know the 2 tr capacity index will be 63 so 15.9 and 9.5 so i have given 15.9 and 9.5 with the capacity of 2 tr okay so i am going to copy this one enter okay and now i am going to add plus 62.5 okay this is 170.5 the capacity of this one is okay i am going to put the ci value will be 170 and the y joint daikin vrv reference joint will be 73t okay there is a one more unit this is 3.3 the index value is will be capacity index is 100 so i am going to copy this one and i am going to put here as we have to put join 100 only okay so i am going to put one here only okay and this pipe is going to the header and it is connected to the outdoor unit the copper pipe size will be 41.3 and 19.5 one as it is more than 920 so hope i have explained everything about the copper piping as well as the refnet joint in this small project okay hope you have understand up to this one friends hope you have all understand about the hvac refnet joints and this is the our layout okay then this is the schematic layout for the same project okay we have given the size and as well as the machine code this way you have to give to the daikin for the approval so can they can forward it and approve it after that we go for execution you can see all the things we have to put here only okay and this is the outdoor unit
40 hp we have used 20 hp each okay and this is the electric rail drawing for this one okay we are using 63 ampere of mc for each 20 hp system okay we will now see the side okay and this is the outdoor unit that we have installed for the that system that we have seen just now okay these are the two 20 hp outdoor unit which is connected with the help of y joint and our copper piping this is you can see the connected this is the last branch kit which is been connected okay friends this is the outdoor unit for Daikin VRV. You can see the copper piping piece has been connected and insulated properly. Okay, the cable. Okay, so friend, hope you have understand what is Daikin VRV Refnet pipe sizing or Refnet sizing. Okay, this is the Refnet actually which come with the box in the box. We have to cut in the size. Okay, if you want 22 you can cut here if you want 15 you can cut here okay there are extra pieces which are given so that we can size it properly hope you friend have understand daikin vrv refnet okay so so friend if you found this video helpful do not forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button we have lot more content coming up on, on your way thank you see you in the next one